Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to help you to determine the polarity of SEF2 molecule. It's a chemical formula of selenium difluoride. And to understand its polarity, we will first look at its Lewis structure followed by its molecular structure. This is the Lewis structure of SEF2 where selenium is forming two single bonds with fluorine atoms and it also has lone pairs of electron attached to it. We must always take in consideration the minute details of Lewis structures as it affects the final molecular geometry which in turn affects the polarity of the molecule. If we look at the electronegativity of selenium, it is 2.55 and that of fluorine is 4. Now the difference, well, the difference is quite high to induce polarity in the bonds. Thus, each selenium-fluorine bonds are polar in nature. When we look at the molecular structure, it is bent and the reason behind that is the repulsion force exerted by these lone pairs here and the dipole moment of selenium fluoride bond will be towards fluorine as it is more electronegative element and as the structure is not symmetrical in nature, the dipole moment also won't get cancelled out. And if there were no lone pairs here, then the structure would have been linear and the net dipole moment would have been zero. But here that is not the case. Thus there will be a formation of negative pole on fluorine and positive pole on selenium. Based on all the points that we discussed, we can conclude that SEF2 is a polar molecule. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.